All right, guys, doing a video uh, trying to explain what a mechanical governor and an air vane governor is and how it's hooked up. Somebody requested a video, so uh, let's see if we can get some edited video in here. Here is the mechanical part. See that little arm back there? And it's in about the fourth hole. You have to have a spring that goes down to that right there. And then your throttle cable clips right there and then goes up and hooks inside there. Your throttle cable. That arm. Which that's the spring right here. It goes up and down. That's where your throttle cable hooks to. There's a little hole there that your throttle cable goes into. I don't know if you can see that, but then you have a governor arm that hooks to the back of your carburetor down to that governor arm. You can see it right there in that light in that hole. That little hook there. That's your mechanical governor. That little arm right there. And then there's a spring. You see the spring right there is in, I think, the fourth hole. Uh, second to the last hole. So there's one, two, three, four, the fifth. That one's in the fifth hole. Fourth or fifth, you have to play with it. That's under your governor. When it's under load, that's what your governor, the mechanical governor does, works up and down under a load. So your throttle cable, uh, it's hooked, if I can show down in there, there's a little groove in there and a screw that holds your throttle cable. And then your throttle cable, uh, there's a little hole back in there that your throttle cable hooks on that arm. And then uh, you'll have another little arm that goes on the back of your carburetor down to your governor arm. So that's a mechanical part of a governor. Air vane governor is different. I got a motor up here on the table. That's just 46 motor here on this uh, Model 500 Briggs engine, David Bradley. And let's see if we can go over here. It's kind of dark over in there. But the air vane governor on this motor, like I said, it's different. It's set up different. You'll have a, a spring in here and then your air vane is with your shroud on there moves this. So if you look, you'll see it move up and down. Under load, it'll, it'll uh, balance itself out and that's your, see I can turn it, see there? See that flap moving? That's that's an air vane, air vane governor. And then you'll have a spring that goes in the back of it here somewhere that goes down. And then your throttle cable will hook. Uh, let's see if we can turn this motor to the side here a little bit. But there's a... Let me turn it all the way up here so you can actually see down in there. There's a spring. For your air vane and then you got a spring for your throttle a bigger spring back in here so your throttle cable is right here let's see if I can shine the light up in there it's pretty dark but you can see how how that is that bigger spring there's a little um, little eye right there that it goes in your throttle cable so this 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 thing right here goes up and down when you give it gas there's your throttle wire bent over and that air vane that's that's what your air vane is air vane governor and a mechanical governor it's all it is is this flap right here um, when your motor's spinning the air from this We'll move this. That's why it's an air vane. 
and in the mechanical, it's mechanically inside here, inside the motor. Under load, it'll uh, kick in. So like when you throttle it up or you're pulling something, your governor down here will kick in under load. That's the difference between an air vane and a mechanical. So I hope that helps out. Till next time.